The registry on any Windows computer is very important and Windows won't load without it. So I'm going to go to the search box and type regedit and open up the registry editor as the administrator. Now once that opens, it contains five hive keys. And underneath these hive keys, we have a whole bunch of sub keys, and then we have values after that. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to import and export various different sub keys, hive keys, whatever it is that you would like to do, so you can back this up or use it on another computer if needed. Now, most likely you're going to be in the H key, how it just stands for hive key, local machine. And inside there, you're probably going to be in system or software or something like that. I'm going to click on system, for instance. And I'm going to go to software, which is a sub key. You see Microsoft and lots of different settings. I'm just going to go down to where it says test results. So test results is a sub key within the registry editor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose to export this sub key. And I'm exporting the sub key. I'll just put it on the desktop, make it easy to find. And I'll just type in test results. You can call it whatever you want. This, the name of it doesn't really matter. Sub key. And you can see it's going to save it as a .reg, a registry file. So I'll go ahead and save that. And if I minimize this, you can see this little file. I can also do this from the very root. I can go to the top of the computer itself, right click and choose export, and it will export the entire registry, all the different keys. So I'll just call this entire registry and choose to export it. Now, this may take a couple of minutes, just depends on how fast your computer is and how large the registry is. Now, while I'm waiting for it to finish, you can see right now it's almost 200 megabytes. I'm going to go to this test su uh, result sub key. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose to open with uh, the notepad. So I'll choose another app. And then when the list shows up, I'm going to choose more apps, notepad. Now, if you double click on it, something else is going to happen. So I just want to show you what will happen just by going to Notepad. You can see it's not very exciting, but what it is is it shows you the path to that particular location. And if there's any values such as uh, any D words or anything else that goes along with it, then you'll see it within this text file. So the nice thing about this is, is if for any reason something has been deleted from your registry and you need to get it back and you've backed up your registry, as you see here, you can get it all back by either restoring the entire registry or just a particular key or sub key that you might have backed up. So for instance, if I go back to this location where it says test results and I delete it, and remember I've already backed it up, now it's gone. So I'll go back to the test result sub key. I'll double click on it and watch what happens. It's going to import that information. So I'll click OK, go back to the registry, and there's my test result sub key once again. And if I had any particular values on the right hand side, you would see those as well. It looks like our entire registry is backed up, but this was a brand new Windows 11 install, so it doesn't have a huge registry. The longer you keep your computer, the larger this is going to be. Eventually it'll be over, eventually it will be well over many gigabytes. And you'll notice that the larger the registry gets, the slower the computer becomes. But with a good SSD drive nowadays, it doesn't really happen that quickly. It might take several years. So that is how you export and import the registry and its keys and subkeys in Windows 11. This also works in Windows Server 2025 as well as previous versions, although in previous versions you might notice that the user interface is slightly different.